The second phase is uh, the construction phase. So let's have a look what uh, what's about the quality assurance during the construction phase. So what what do we have? Um, of course, first of all, the constru construction phase means that there is an inspection on site. Um, so that uh, has to be done. And we'll have a look at this. So uh, on site inspection, which uh, is done regularly. And then, of course, you have uh, or you need to do a quality assurance of the components. So we have a quality assurance of the components, in particular, of course, the PV modules. And finally, uh, the last step uh, during the construction phase is the technical acceptance or uh, the, the, the test of the final test uh, of this uh, PV system. So we have the technical acceptance uh, test or tests. Um, so what what is the, the, the goal of the construction phase? Of course, the goal is the grid connection. Uh, without any uh, failures or issues, uh, the duration of this construction phase is, uh, let's say, three to, to six months uh, on a utility scale. Um, so if you have a large multi-megawatt uh, PV system, then it takes uh, weeks or months to, to construct. Uh, the system from the very beginning, uh, the preparation of the landscape until the grid connection. Um, if you have a rooftop system, it takes days or weeks. Uh, so even if it is a small rooftop uh, system on a house with a capacity of, let's say, five or even six or seven kilowatt peak, it just takes several days to install this system. So, of course, the construction phase or the duration of the construction phase highly depends on the type of the system that we have. And what we'll do now is we'll have a look at these uh, three uh, tasks, the on-site inspection, the quality assurance of the components, and the technical acceptance test. Uh, what are the, the tasks um, you, you need to do during this construction phase? So first step is the inspection during the construction. So what needs to be done, so that's an on-site visit, which is repeated regularly uh, within um, days or weeks. Again, it depends uh, on, the, on the type of PV system. Um, of course, or, or what? Why do we need this? Uh, of course, the um, you need to ensure the state of the art technology um, that uh, is done during this construction phase. Um, as uh, any defects or uh, problems uh, can be corrected in uh, during the construction phase, as this is uh, cheaper than. Um, uh, correcting the defects after the grid connection, which is typically more expensive. So if you identify any issues, you can correct them uh, during the construction phase rather easy. So, uh, of course, first of all, um, it's regarding the quality of the work. of the work um, and regarding all issues like the mounting of the modules, what about the cables, uh, the frames, the installation of the inverters and transformers. Um, so that's one issue of the technical expert uh, on site that you check the quality of, of the work. Um, so then of course you, you analyze uh, the shading situation. So are there new information regarding the uh, the shading, um, what's about the obstacles, uh, row shading, etc. Then, of course, you need to check the agreement of, uh, of the planning. So, 
So what's about the documentation, the plans uh, which have been made previously, which have been checked, uh, is the construction in correlation to the, the, the planning. Um, and finally, what you also need to check is what's about the infrastructure. Um, like uh, the additional buildings you need, uh, for example, for the inverters, uh, for spare parts, for example, what's about the fans uh, to protect uh, the PV system, what's about uh, surveillance cameras, uh, are they correctly installed, what's about the monitoring, of course, um, are the components for the monitoring system are installed, what's about the sensors in particular, the irradiant sensors, uh, temperature sensors, a weather station may be, um, so have been this uh, components be installed and are they operating? So that um, has to be done during this uh, construction phase and of course this has to be repeated regularly um, in order to ensure um, a higher quality installation. Of course, um, as a technical expert who is going on site and doing this inspection, you are, or the tech, uh, this expert is responsible for the communication between the EPC um, and the investor. Um, in case of any issues, uh, you, the technical expert is giving the advice and support for the investor in, in this PV project. So that's the, the task um, to to check, to control the EPC, so that's the, the company doing this engineering, procurement and the construction. Um, so you have to control the, the EPC who is responsible for this construction of the PV system that you get a high quality PV system after um, a grid connection. Second task is the quality assurance of the components. So B, quality. Assurance of the components, mainly of course the PV modules. As we've seen in a previous video, that the modules contribute to about 40% of the overall costs of a PV project. Um, so you need to um, check the quality of the modules, are, and uh, what you can see in this uh, diagram. Um, is um, an example of the quality of a P of, of PV modules. What you can see is um, we have the peak power of these modules. Regarding the data sheet, these uh, modules should have um, a peak power of 300 watts. That's uh, shown by this yellow line. Um, and then the um, manufacturer gives an accuracy uh, or bandwidth of this uh, peak power of uh, plus minus 3% so that the uh, peak power of the PV modules should be within a range of plus minus uh, 3%. Uh, so the, the value or the, the peak power should be within um, 309, that's uh, the upper limit, and 291 what, uh, what peak. Um, so within this bandwidth, uh, the power should lie. And what you can see is in, in our case, the blue curve, this is the peak power um, given by the manufacturer. You, you get a list with all your modules. Um, with, um, each module has been tested in the manufacturing process or after the production process um, called uh, the, the flashing of a PV module so that you derive or that you measure and get the peak power, the uh, current, the voltage value of each uh, module and you get this, this uh, list uh, and on the one hand you check this uh, the values if they are within this bandwidth and what, we, what you can see is in, the, in our case that uh, the blue line that's a sorted uh, peak power of all modules which have been used in this project. So you see overall there are modules which have a larger peak power than given on the data sheet. Uh, they've even be um, produced modules within which are better than uh, expected. Uh, so they are on a higher level. But on the other hand, there are several modules uh, here on the uh, lower part which show a smaller peak power than promised. So they are outside this bandwidth of plus minus uh, 3% of the peak power. So that's an issue because um, you 
pay for 300 watt peak modules but you just get modules which are worse than this uh, this value and uh, in order to on the one hand to derive this you need this this list with the serial numbers uh, and the detailed uh, values and what you should also do is in addition in order to, to uh, you should not trust the manufacturer's uh, measurements. You should do an independent uh, quality assurance test of the solar module so that you take a random sample of, uh, um, let's say, 50, 60, 100 modules, again, depending on the uh, uh, size of your PV system, and that you do a precise measurement of the quality of the modules in a lab under lab conditions. Um, that you can derive uh, the quality of the modules in case that even this uh, these values might be or might have an inaccuracy and uh, the, 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 there might be a shift in the peak power. So again, it's important uh, that you do a cross-check of the quality of the modules um, uh, during the construction phase because in case of uh, the identification of any problem, you can get in contact with the EPC or with the um, the manufacturer of the modules to get an exchange of the modules so what's about the warranties so that's an important issue uh, dr even during the construction phase the last step during the construction phase is the technical acceptance test technical acceptance Test. So after the grid connection, you do the final check of the quality of the system. So of course, first of all, um, there is a visual inspection of the uh, overall uh, park. So someone has to uh, go along all the modules and this might take a long time. Um, to, to run or to go uh, along all modules to do the visual inspection. Of course, you can need um, a drone, for example, to take pictures uh, from above, um, but you need to walk along the whole park. What you also do is, uh, of course, um, you, you need to document any uh, deviation from the system layout or the planned system layout. Uh, what's about uh, the shading condition? If you have a ground mounted utility scale system, uh, you need to check the um, row shading. Is this uh, as considered? Um, and in case of any issues, of course, what you do is you, you take pictures. That's important, and um, this has to be uh, has to be done. Um, during the whole process. Then, of course, second issue is the uh, PV module um, PV module measurements, um, power checks. So what you do is you need to um, check the uh, the quality of the modules. You derive the IV curve of of modules. Of course, not of all modules, but you take a random sample again. Um, you also check the uh, efficiency of the inverter. Um, you check uh, the, 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 the quality of the wiring. Are there any insulation issues? Um, so there is a, a, there are electrical measurements you need to do uh, to ensure that uh, the, the components are all right, that there aren't any, any issues. Then uh, the next step, what you should do is to identify problems is and um, uh, take uh, thermographic uh, images. So thermographic uh, investigation. You can really use drones uh, if you have rooftop systems or ground mounted systems to identify hot spots in the in the modules uh, in the cells um, uh, that you uh, derive uh, technical problems of these uh, of the PV modules. Um, next issue, of course, is the monitoring system. Is everything all right? So, what's about the monitoring system? Uh, do the values uh, of the monitoring system uh, fit uh, to the measurements on site? Um, do all components um, 
measure their values uh, like current like voltage power uh, do the weather station um, provide sensor data um, and uh, identify possible issues and then finally uh, what you have is uh, you have this evaluation of the of the PV system of the whole PV system so that you prepare a technical report uh, write down what, what how does it look like? Uh, what are uh, any issues and how can these issues be solved? Um, um, so that finally um, the, the PV system runs perfectly without any uh, malfunctions or failures. Um, and uh, that the, the system can, uh, can, can go uh, to the operation phase.